Well, at this point, I would say it is safe to say that it seems like it is court case o'clock when it comes to this JD's case, Coral Bibi and Mr. JD's supporters. Because, yes, let's talk about Kim Baker, the singing bird, okay? That one that was in that private WhatsApp group that JD and his friends created. Let's discuss a little bit about Kim. Welcome back, Entertainment Daily Lovers. Over here, we do Celebrity G's Content Creator Saga and much more. So don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and also don't forget to follow us on Facebook. Depending on which of the platform you prefer being on more, you can get our stories from that platform. Okay, so that being said, let's dive right into this gist right about now. So yes, so Kim Baker have been singing. This woman has been singing for a while. The lady that she did the billboard for Coral BD, you remember the billboard that was trending in a bit in New York City? Mm-hmm. Yes, Times Square. Mm-hmm. That one. Okay, so... Kim Baker granted an interview recently. At first, she did an interview with Zoe Son, okay, mm -hmm. the lady that is in court with Cora Obidi. And the lady's, uh, the woman's son spilled a lot of tea about his mom. Then, a few days later, we heard that Kim Baker was going on another YouTuber's uh, platform for an interview, okay, so. She went there on, let's talk about it with Amira, yes, on YouTube, and she said a whole lot about JD, the supporters, the private WhatsApp groups, she referenced two of the WhatsApp groups, stuff that was done behind the scene, spoke a tiny, teeny bitty bit about what she did, and said a whole lot about what mr justin did and so much more and you know i was just wondering what is the reason why this woman is singing although the reason she gave is that at some point she realized that mr jd was lying okay and when she realized that he was lying she decided to collect enough evidence that she would use to nail him okay and she doesn't care what anybody thinks if people believe her or if they don't she is telling the truth and that's what it is that right now she is standing by cora cora is innocent or cora was innocent but jd misled all of them lying to them there are several women on those whatsapp group there are over 100 women so much that this woman said on that interview okay and i'm thinking what is really going on but it does make sense that this lady is now coming out singing like a bird because if you notice likes of Miriam Awolo and the rest of them are distancing themselves from the WhatsApp group because you know it is going down based on that content that was distributed, the content of the kids. Mm -hmm. So everybody wants to distance themselves from JD somehow or play down on what they have done. And just stuff like that, you know, that's what they've been doing. But I feel like mm -hmm. if you notice also as Kim is doing those interview and Kim is also being, um, what is it called? Uh, going on other interviews. One thing you will notice is the fact that Kim has been talking about a court case also. So it seemed like Kim is also planning to go to court and all of this is to save. I've always said it. All of these JD supporters that are talking, doing all what not from Lady L in the UK to Miriam also in the UK to Kim Baker and the rest of them. Every, well, each and every one of them is just trying to save their head. Okay. Or try to curry some favor from people out there on social media and you can see that play out with this court case thing that Kim have been talking about she's about to go to court she's about to go to court and she was just singing like a bed so she posted this three days ago and I thought we should just touch down on it it is on her Facebook page and she said coming live in 15 minutes please refrain from discussing my earlier life or post and any content discussed until after court on monday okay so you can clearly see here that this woman knows that 
she has got a court case she needs all the support she can get financially and otherwise and that's why she's coming out singing like a bird so she gets more supporters people that will donate to this course and whatnot y'all see mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> they're always like serpent okay so someone commented i said oh yes 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 another person said mm, never 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 i will never discuss what 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 another person is dropping a comment like you know giving her a thumbs up like they will not discuss they will keep their mouth mute about what not then fast forward mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so fast forward i'm trying to pull up the other one and this one day ago kim posted this kim baker mm -hmm, posted this and said any one of my followers who wants to dm me and help with my fight in court i will give you a way to donate and someone said it's only fair in the comment section another person said take care of yourself with heart emojis another person says oh no have uh oh no have you been served like the person is asking a question i don't see a reply to it okay um i just see some people thumbsing up that in hearts and whatnot but i don't see her responding another person said i'm in with you so that's a few comments that i see in this particular um uh this thing comment section where she commented and she's asking for people to help her with her court case now on she had several live streams short live streams that she had posted to her facebook but they're no longer there on her facebook so she probably deleted them because of this so-called court case that she's talking about i don't know how true that is but i don't understand how some of these people think you're going to post something thinking that people will not download and keep it already if you really have a court case and what you were saying is related to that trust me the other parties already have that content so no need for you to have even deleted it from your facebook but we can all see that all this i i'm standing with cora i'm standing with cora i'm doing this multiple billboards will be on this and that i'm willing to go to court to testify i'm willing to hand over this flash drive even though she's just waiting so they cut her a deal before she sends it because i don't if she really really wants to send it and not looking for any deal or anything or any favor she would have done that long 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 time ago but that's not what she did she's still waiting for who's going to get in contact with her just to say she doesn't know how to send this but if you look at this whole thing you can see where kim is going with this whole thing another thing i want to add is the miriam awolowo actually called her out and now i'm waiting to see what her response is going to be is kim going to come out and address what miriam awolowo is alleging that kim told her that she fancied jd so all those have have, have invited private eyes and private investigator to come investigate this case and i spent ten thousand dollars all was just to get jd's attention because in other words this woman wanted something like a relationship or something with mr jd because she fancied him or do you think that Miriam Awolo also is just saying all of this to just confuse people the more so people will not pay so much attention or take what um, uh, Kim Baker have said to heart? Let me know in the comment section if you're watching this video on Facebook, on YouTube. Comment and let me know what you think is going on. But one thing that I know is that these people are all conniving. They are not straightforward. If any one of them says to you, good morning, go ahead and check your time because they would throw anybody under the bus just to save their head. They did so much planning and plotting with JD. They pushed him to do so many things that I think if he was alone, not as if he's not bad enough, but I feel like if, he's, if he was alone, he wouldn't have been able to achieve some of the wicked things that they achieved all together. But now that they've seen that, okay, the case is going to court and they know that the penalty is not going to be funny everybody's trying to distance themselves everybody's trying to do what they can do so they get support also because they can see that cora started 
go fund me to pursue this case and people really came out and donated to Cora. so somehow likes of kim baker is also coming out with all the stories so people are like okay she's actually doing good this time around she's coming out with truth she's coming out with secrets uh you know all those conversations they had in private she's bringing them out so let us also support her for her own court case uh and whatnot but let us just keep watching and seeing what more uh she has under her sleeves okay let's see is she going to respond back to their, her former friend remember the email that they were sharing in private talking about how they should protect their case for the cps and all of that Let, don't worry uh, that video will drop very soon also to see how they are fighting now between themselves and how they were before thank you subscribe and follow